Hi there, this is Tim Schrock from Design Build Solutions bringing you today's Tech Tip Tuesday. Today I'm just going to show you a quick tip of how I draw my exterior elevations. In particular, the uh, foundation part that is below grade. My example here is pretty simple because it's a very flat grade. Um, so th that that's a, that doesn't adds a little bit of time but I think you know enough to figure out how to do a sloped grade. To start off with, in my template, I have a layer, layer system set up under CAD. I have a layer called CAD grade lines. Um, I typically have this set at 55 line weight, a solid line style, and black. I'm going to start with my grade line layer first because um, eventually I'm going to turn that to, into a solid white fill and I want all of the other objects and lines that I, um, that I draw, I want those to be on top of this solid fill. So I, I draw my, my grade line as a foundation, if you will, first. So I'm going to hit my current CAD layer uh, icon here. You can do the same thing under uh, CAD current CAD layer and I'm gonna go find CAD grade lines and click OK. I'm gonna draw a polyline rectangle just at the top of this uh, grade here and draw, draw it. I'm just gonna draw it rather rather large. Um, so what eventually I'm going to do is I'm going to hit Command E on my keyboard or Control E if you've got a Windows machine Fill style and solid background color. Use background color. That's a quick, easy way to hide items that are below grade, but I still want to see them because I need to draw in uh, where those foundations and footings are. So I'm going to turn this back to none. Then quickly I'll go back to my current CAD layer option, and I've got the next layer is called CAD hidden lines, which is gray, 18, and dashed line type. I'm going to go back into my layers mode because I see that my CAD grade lines is still 18. So I'm going to 55, hit tab, and hit OK. Go back into my grade lines. There it is, 55. I want to modify all layer sets to be 55, tab, OK. Very good. Back to current CAD layer. I'm still on hidden lines. Fantastic. Now I'm just going to quickly and and my tip here is get your get your foundations um, as close to where you want them as possible. So you can just kind of trace uh, this uh, trace this uh, outline here. Now. For, for some of you, uh, some projects, you may care a lot about where exactly these are, particularly if you're showing step foundations or step footings. Um, for this project, I, I don't care. I just want to show that my footing is 32 inches below grade because that's what this local municipality is going to require. So I'm going to draw, oh yes, um, we're going to remove this little bit of terrain that you see of the terrain skirt. This current uh, garage footing is very shallow and so we actually do have to do some underpinning of the garage footing to get it down below the frost line. All right, then I'm going to go in and I'm going to just draw where those breaks are in the foundation and consequently in the footing as well. So I'm just drawing individual lines. I'm still drawing directly onto the CAD, uh, CAD hidden lines layer. And 
And as I'm drawing these, these are going on top of, because they're drawn after the uh, CAD grade lines, uh, polyline, they're going on top of that, that polyline. So when I fill it, they will be visible to the, um, to the viewer here. All right, I believe that's all of them, and I will quickly know if I'm missing any by clicking on solid, fill style solid again, of the grade line polyline, and what do you know, I am missing one, so we'll just draw one in here, like so. The last little bit is, you probably noticed, I forgot, I did not draw in the um, crawl access, so I'm gonna draw myself a polyline there and double click back on my grade line polyline change that to solid now if you're a little um, uh, if you're kind of like me I don't want to see these gray lines on top of the thick black lines so I'm going to select that and just uncheck I've got this uh, top line of this crawl access outline selected and I'm going to uh, disconnect that selected edge from my polyline and delete it so that I just see the black line of the grade. Now I send this to uh, to my layout view after I've given all the um, given all the pertinent facts on the on the elevation and I think we'll be all set. This is Tim Schrock from Design Build Solutions. Today's Tech Tip Tuesday in Chief Architect Premier version X9. Thanks for watching. If you like this, please let us know. Uh, also, if you have suggestions on a tip, let me know in the comments below. Talk to you next week. Bye-bye.